With the fourth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Jaron Jackson Jr. from Michigan State University. The Big Ten freshman and defensive player of the year in his lone season with Tom Izzo and the Spartans. His dad was a longtime NBA player, won a championship with the Spurs. His mom is director of player up the WNBA as you see Miles Bridges his teammate at Michigan State we will hear his name called a little bit later on tonight but Jaron Jackson big guy shooting touch do a lot of things a modern big in the NBA and he's only going to get better Reese you, you referenced it he's the youngest big guy in this draft he's got long arms he's got huge hands he may be the best overall defender in this draft when you take into account shot blocking rim protecting and his ability to get out and guard pick and rolls he can guard one through five for at least a couple of dribbles and he's only going to get better he can knock down shots to three point range he's got this standstill set shot but I think you're looking at a player I agree with Woj he, he's got a chance to be as good as anybody in this draft uh, he's a very good shooter he made 38 threes this year uh, from deep he shot over 40 percent from three it's a little set shot but when he gets his feet set he knocks it down with regularity and he made just about 80 percent of his free throws and he is an excellent shot blocker with terrific mobility per 40 minutes he blocked five and a half shots per game now that also went with six fouls per 40 minutes so he's got to clean that up a little bit but he's a guy that's got upside in the post. He plays with his back to the basket. That is not yet the best part of his game, but he's going to get better and better there as well. He can shoot. He can knock down free throws. He's going to be a really good player. And here's a guy who I, who he reminds me of a little bit, Joaquin Noah. I think he's much better offensively. Obviously, he shoots the jumper better than Joaquin does. But the way that he competes on the defensive end, he's competitive on both ends, runs the floor extremely well, high-level finisher around the rim. Reminds me a lot of Joe Kim. Jaron Jackson Jr. on his way to Memphis. You guys like those in-depth analytical stats? Since 1992, you've had 10 players with a 14% block rate, 63% true shooting percentage. All of those guys made a grand total of two threes. As Jay mentioned, Jackson made 38 this past season. He's with Maria. All right, hey, Jaron. Uh, uh, someone's got my phone, right? Oh. So you just I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm here, I'm just making sure, you know, my dad has my phone you know, at the table. All right, you said that this entire moment was going to be priceless. I mean, how would you describe what it means to be a top five pick? There's no words. There's no words to describe it. It's all the hard work we put in in the gym, and, you know, it, it, it just leads up to this type of moment. Now I'm a Memphis Grizzly. That's crazy, you know. I'm really happy. I'm so happy. Well, you were screaming at dad, and dad spent 13 seasons in the NBA, but he went undrafted. Mom, she's director of operations for player personnel in the WNBPA. So what have they meant during this journey to the draft? Everything. They just, my dad's been on me since day one. He, he loves me. He's been my coach, my mentor, my father, and my mom's been with me every step of the way. They both have led me, and, you know, my grandmother's here. You know, my grandmother gets to see me. Let's get to see me get drafted. That's that's crazy. And, and then Pops is here. <laughs> I love that Pop showed up. Now, now, Dad, you didn't get drafted, but it's fun to see your son go in the top five. I mean, what does this moment mean for you? Absolutely. I'm so proud. Uh, I love him, of course, and he's worked hard. And uh, all the credit goes to him. My lovely wife, uh, our son, we're just, this is a proud moment with the Jackson 3. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is still wearing the Spurs championship ring from 1999. Yes. I mean, now seeing your son about to play in the same league that your husband does, what does that mean? It is awesome. It is the perfect end and beginning all at once. We are so proud. We are so proud. <laughs> this was the year he was born. This is that championship year. So it all comes full circle. Congratulations. <laughs> Look, Jaron Jackson, in fact, yep. was just yep. picked. He is the number four pick in Memphis. This goes back to the situation we were saying, as Rose reported earlier tonight, Bernie Bickerstaff selling, I'm oh, sorry, James, that was, there's a slip because I, <laughs> it happens. Bernie Bickerstaff's son, J.B. Bickerstaff, the yeah. coach in, yeah. in Memphis. who an old man. Right, I know, <laughs> right? 
Um, you know what I love yes. about this kid? What? If it wasn't for Miles Bridges staying another year, yeah. I think this kid really seriously thought about staying a second year. His mom and dad. Uh, Why do you love that? Well, These no, guys should get paid. I don't know. I agree. I agree. I'm but over the I'm romanticism no, 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 of college sports. But, but, but here's one. Hey, hey, mom, <laughs> hey, but here's one. Yeah, that, five hours, Jay. No, wait, that's that's right. we, we need Jay Billis <laughs> for that one. But, <laughs> no, but, but really, you know, mom is an attorney for the WNBA. Mm -hmm. Dad knows the lifestyle yep. after 13 years. So I'm not saying he's not ready for the NBA and he shouldn't get paid. Yeah. But the kid loved college. Yeah, and look, and so yeah, yeah, college sports. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love that but, and we love that he's in the NBA. But yes. my point is, like, he's it's going to be so innocent for him. You know, he hasn't even turned 19. But, right. but and I love, same, him. I love same, him at the same time, coach, because he's got a dad who wasn't a star, who was a grinder, who's a journeyman. Yeah. I agree. He, he's got an inside knowledge of the game that other guys in his same situation probably don't. Yeah. So Memphis is, ex is expecting to rise right back up into playoff contention next year because obviously Mark and Mike come back know, healthy. You know, yep. They're expecting to be healthy again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is a guy who I think can help them from day one because he yeah. can play NBA level defense tomorrow with this new pace well, that we've seen in the, in the league. Yeah. That's, that's the important point right thing. there. That grind so, out two, scenario, you have to be able to play a little bit faster. Two well. years ago, David Pizzo was, was the coach there. But, tasked with modernizing grit and grind because the way they were going, it was an extinction, right? And there was some pushback there, whatever. Here we are two years later. Jaron Jackson represents a big step towards modernizing that. Having guys Absolutely. that can play both sides of the floor, space the floor, be good inside. That versatility that the NBA game has become, they finally got some of that. I would, better I, I'm expecting him yeah. to That's start kind of next to Marcus Gasol. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's going to be able to guard the guys that Marcus Gasol can't guard.